Hi guys, I want to talk today about why narcissists use your fear to control you. You know initially, when you first met the narcissist, you think they are normal, you think they are normal, like a normal person, yeah, desiring the same thing that you want. But what you didn't know was, the narcissist, at that initial first love bombing phase, they are taking their time to study you, to know all your fears, all your weaknesses. At the same time, you are sharing with them your real life. So you telling them all your aspirations, all the things you hope for, and the narcissist will play along and make you believe they want the same thing, you know? So, but as time goes on, you know narcissists, they can't stay with anyone for really long without getting bored, without start um, devaluing you without start looking down on you because initially when they met you they actually they were not even in love with you they were not even interested in you all they were was infatuated in with that first eye of meeting somebody new so just because you're new that's why they're attracted to you yeah and also because you don't know them you know they like recreating like a new personality when they meet a new person so to so to them it's like an exciting new project so for example just imagine someone who's bored like they are bored you know you're narcissists they have because they are bored all the time you know then all of a sudden you now have someone you have to pretend to someone you have to play all those games with when you know you are bored and you're sick at the same time so it's exciting for the narcissist to find someone new and just toy with them and play with them you know so in that phase while you are getting to know them why they are pretending like okay they like you or maybe they think like they're gonna benefit a lot from you you know so during that process they are learning about your insecurities like your insecurities your fears and things that they know you never want in your life so by the time the narcissist now is tired of you now they are, they've reached boredom why they are with you now the next phase is now for them to be um, devaluing you so while you're facing the devaluation process yeah the narcissist, that's when they use your fears to control you. So for example, if you're the sort of person like you don't like divorce or you, you come from maybe a family where you guys don't believe in divorce or even maybe there's never been a divorce in your family before, yeah? A narcissist could be married to you and then they'll be threatening divorce all the time because maybe they know that you don't, you're not into that. Or you don't want that or that's what you stated initially that oh I never want a divorce you know what I mean so and also not just that even narcissistic parents too they use your fears against you maybe the fears of their support withdrawing their support their affection you know their silent treatment they use that against you as well so what most narcissists do is that once they've already like study your weakness and all your insecurity those are the things that they will use to control you so but you know like when people are in that phase where they are going through all those things with the narcissist when narcissism is behaving threatening them because once you've seen those things because you that is your true insecurity and you never really want those things you instead of you to be thinking of how to get away from the narcissist you'll be thinking of maybe how to fix the relationship you'll be thinking of how to do whatever they want so that that which you fear should not come to pass you know so that's what most narcissists do some will threaten you with cheating you know because maybe they know like oh maybe you don't like that you know like that's you don't want a partner that will cheat on you or maybe they know you fall in love so much with them so some will threaten you like they will cheat on you if you don't do certain things some will threaten maybe you have children with them they know that you love your kids so much and that puts you in a vulnerable situation they will threaten you maybe they'll take the kids away from you then if it's a work environment they'll keep acting like you're not doing your job properly like they'll keep threatening you as if you're gonna lose that job you know and then you'll be panicking because you know you're doing your best but the narcissistic boss will never see you doing your best you know because that's what they do they like it when you're walking on tiptoe you know so and 
also the worst thing is being codependent at the same time you know like having all these insecurities because once you're codependent and you're having all these insecurities you can't see beyond beyond the securities you can't see beyond the insecurities i mean sorry i mean you can't see beyond like your fears so then instead of you to be thinking of how to logically get away from the narcissist how to get away from situations how to improve your life how to stay away from these people you know because of that codependency mindset all your mind you will be stuck because the more the narcissist abuse you the more you will trauma bonded to them because your whole reality of life is about them so you will be living your own life but at the same time you're worried about work you'll be thinking about work thinking about how you're going to put your best effort thinking about how you're going to work on eggshell so your boss don't get angry thinking about how you're going to work on eggshell when you're at home with the narcissistic wife thinking about how you're going to work on eggshell when you're around the narcissistic partner you know instead of you to be thinking about how you're going to leave that situation and that person and sometimes because of the fear of loss you know because most people they've invested so much in the relationship because they initially believed the narcissist was genuine at the first place so in the first place during the love bombing phase the narcissist what they do is they like it when you fully invested in them the more you invest the more they get you hooked a narcissist will be the type of person that they would even tell you to pay for the most expensive kind of things because it makes them happy you know so you as a codependent person you'll be doing those things because you want to make them happy because you want to see them happy because you've seen their downside because they, they've shown you both so you are drawn thinking it's your responsibility to always keep them happy but meanwhile the narcissist can never be happy they can never be satisfied and you you are just wasting your time your effort because all those things at the end of the day is just a pure waste you know so what i'm trying to say here is that narcissists use your fear to control you that's what they do so if you could see beneath beyond your fears see beyond you know like wanting to stay in a marriage that is toxic see beyond you need to see life beyond those things like beyond your own desires and things you want you know see life beyond the job that you can't let go because you are maybe you're getting paid from it and you have this narcissistic boss that's making your life a living air you know so you need to see beyond those things so you can make a way out for yourself you know most people don't understand this you know because that codependent mindset it's a really really bad thing like people don't really understand like the depth of it you know like how you could be there and all your mind is just focused on the narcissist focus on what they are doing especially when they've ghosted you and then you there just wondering what you did wrong what you did nothing wrong you know you there thinking worrying about them you there thinking like oh maybe you could do something better you be nice to them why they being horrible to you you know you be cordial with them why they'll be cry to you you know all the time so you know so what i'm trying to say here is that you know people think like when people cut narcissists off like you do the door slam on them like you close the door shut the door on them people think it's ash it's not really ash you know you don't want to realize all these things in the old age i tell you i tell people like listen why you can like one one word i do have is get out why you can not when you have to because by the time you have to get out it's too late you understand so get out why you can though you might be hurt for a couple of days a couple of months you know but you get over it you build a decent life you know that's what you need so don't let like people toy with your emotion toy with your your time your energy and your effort when there are other people that will be deserving of all the good things that you are you understand what i'm saying so that's why i always tell people like once you see that someone is a narcissist just cut them off they move on to a better things and a better life you understand because there's a better life ahead if you stop letting narcissists bother your mind like stop worrying about them stop worrying about your fears and your insecurity you understand if it's a marriage don't worry about oh what people would think oh you know you have a divorce you you know stigma and shame no you don't think that way you know 
get out and be happy and be safe, you know? Because trauma bond is very strong. You, you, you people don't understand it. Most of the time, people stick with narcissists. They think it's love. It's not. It's just a trauma bond. Because the narcissists have abused you so much that you'll be thinking like you've tolerated so much abuse. So it's better you just stay. You understand? And sometimes you'll be thinking the narcissist is even better than people outside. You know? So you'll be, you'll be so scared because you'll be thinking, oh, maybe you might even find something worse. You know, and sometimes narcissists, they'll tell you like, like you can't find anything better than them. They do do that a lot because they have this sense of pride and, uh, and grandiose, how will I say it? Like, you know, that um, delusion of grandiose where they feel they are the best thing in the world, you know, when really they are not. I bet you, if you cut narcissists loose, cut them, whether it's family, whether it's work, whether it, just cut them loose, they are greater and better things ahead. You know, so never let a narcissist use your own fear to control you. So that's what this video I have to say, you know, because that's the same reason why people don't see those signs of narcissists. For example, you're talking to someone, you're nice to them, they are rude to you. That's a red flag. You know, you be someone who's trying to take advantage of you at maybe early stage of relationship. Maybe they're asking you for like favors, money, things like that. That's a red flag. Someone who's always like, when they are upset, they are very hostile and showing very, very toxic behavior. They are not civilized when they are angry. That's a red flag, you know? So I'm saying all these things because, you know, like I want people to understand like the red flag of narcissism and also to get away from the toxic situation wherever they find themselves. So please take advice, yeah? watch other videos on youtube you see when people say no contact like practice no to no contact and do all those things it's for your own benefit you don't need to watch one million videos on narcissism before you take action um, all that matters is the action that you take today that will determine your peace tomorrow and then when you see that you have toxic people in your life get rid of them and be assertive never tell them one thing more than one time if you tell if someone disrespects you tell them I don't like you to disrespect me in that manner ever again. And that's one time. If they do it again, cut them off. That's it. So thank you guys. I hope this video is helpful. Like, share, subscribe, and take care. Bye.